Right, so I hope you've saved plenty of images. If I click on my files, I also saved a couple more. So there's my Neuromancer, June, and uh, FOP, which is short for Fountains of Paradise. They're all in my public HTML. If you are showing projects, they would be under site root, but in the same place. Now, if I were to run this, so I am quickly going to show you what that looks like. This is what it looks like. Is I now can zoom out slightly. I've made this table visible, yours won't be, so you can see what's happening. But watch as I shrink it down. You notice how all of the images stay in a neat line on the right, all the names stay in a neat line on the left, and actually I've had my descriptions I've centre justified, or aligned as we're going to refer to it. So this keeps it very neat. Up to a certain size this is a great way of working out alignment of websites and web pages. This is what we're going to make. Right, back to my code. Okay, so there's all my code. I'll explain what's going on and then we're going to make it together. So, I start with a table. I've made that width 100%. That means it will go from one side of the screen to the other, of the window, sorry, to the other, always. Making a border one meant you could actually see where the table was. Uh, you're not going to have that one. And that's the table beginning, and right at the bottom we have table ending. Now, rows and columns. TR stands for table row. And if we look, I then started my first row and ended my first row to show you that. Yeah, that is this row here. So it starts and ends, it's one long row. And within it, you can see there's three columns, one, two, three. We don't actually call a column a column. We call it table down or TD. So there's my first table down. There's my second table down and my third. For neatness, I've placed all of these on separate lines. There is no need for you to do that, though. See, that goes on quite a while. And at the end of each table down, of course, there's an ending chevron. That's my whole row done. So I've started it there. I end there. And I repeat the whole thing again and again, till we get to the very end where I close the table. Right. Now, so we're doing, I'm going to do a three by three. So ignoring this one, I'm going to show you how it works. So the first things first is I'm going to create a table. And then straight away, I want to end my table. So. Right, now I'm going to put those in, now I'll put them on separate lines. And now I want to make a table row. Straight away I'm going to end my table row. And then within that, I'm going to make three columns. Table down. Repeat. And a third, you know what, copy paste. Right. So these are my three. And just so I can see and show you what's happening, I'm going to put an A, B, C in there. Right. Now, I wanted another row. It's very simple. I copy it, and I paste. And you can paste it as many times as you have rows. Let's stick with two for this one. Now, so that's the first thing I want you to do, is make a very simple table just like that. Okay. Away you go.